Greetings everybody, my name is Jonathan Von Aw, and I'm here to help you, help you learn uh, some basic geometry. Um, this will help you in a multitude of, of ways. I know what I've really found out is as, I, as I've grown up, that this stuff is actually applicable to daily life. Uh, this mathematics, the more you learn, the more ways you learn to apply it. All right, so don't see this as t just purely an academic thing, but especially geometry is so applicable to so many different things. So uh, today we're going to be looking at how to calculate the surface area um, of composite solids. We already, in my previous video, we learned how to calculate the volume of a composite solid. So in this video, we're going to really focus on surface area. All right, so I have a little work table here. And by the way, these notes and of the formula sheet is on the, in the description uh, below. Just uh, click on that description. It will take you right to, the, uh, to my notes. Print those out. Do whatever you like with them. All right, so we have this work table. And uh, it's got these dimensions. It's basically made up of a rectangular top and it has cylindrical legs. All right, so let's say we want to varnish the top of this, really this table, right? Because we want to protect it from the weather and from all kinds of stuff. All right, so we want to varnish the top of the table, the four sides, and the lateral faces of the legs. Lateral just means the sides, right? The sides of the legs, right? So we're not going to varnish everything, and that's actually true in a real life situation we might not necessarily want to varnish everything we're not going to varnish the bottoms of these of these uh, legs we're not going to varnish the bottom of the table because it really doesn't get exposed to to the wetness and the weather and so forth okay so what is the total area that needs to be varnished okay so this is a surface area problem but it also involves uh, it also involves, you need to really know how to work with the formulas, okay? You can't just take these formulas and just blindly start plugging in numbers. Okay, so let's start with the tabletop, all right, because that's easy. Okay, so I want to know, what is the surface area of that tabletop? All right, so here's what I'll do. Let me get a different color because that one's not working well. What is the area of the top of this table? Well, we know that's just a rectangle. So we know the area of a rectangle is just length times width. And again, I always write out my formulas because I want to memorize them. And that's the best way to memorize them is to write them out as you practice. Okay, so length times width. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. So this is an 8 foot by 4 foot, or a 4 foot by 8 foot. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just call it 8 feet by 4 feet. Length times width. Okay, so the area of my tabletop is going to be 32. Now that's feet times feet, which is feet squared. Or square or uh, feet squared or square feet, either one. All right, so I'm going to underline that. Okay, what else do I need? Okay, that was the, the top. I got the top of the table. Now I need the four sides of this table. All right, so it's got one, two, and it's got a side in the back and a side on the side. The cool thing is that this face right here. This face is identical, right? I have a face back here that you can't see. All right? These are faces you can't see. Those two are identical. Okay? So I only need to really do one calculation and multiply it by two. All right? So I'm going to say uh, area of my, let's just call that front and back. All right? You can call it whatever you want. So I like to use subscripts. So F, B. And, you know, I know what that means. That means front and back. So the area of the front and back, 
Again, that's just a rectangle, right? Is length times width. All right, the area, the, the, so the length is this length right here, which is going to be a length of four feet, right? Same back here. So I have four feet is my length, right? Right there. And my width, that's my length. My width is going to be the thickness, which is a half a foot, 0 0.5 feet. Okay, and I know that I'm going to have two of those, right? I'm, that's just for the front. The back's going to be identical, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by two. Okay, because it's the front and the back. All right, so I get, uh, well, half of, half of four is two, and two times two is four. So I get, uh, well, I'm going to have to just do another one here. Area of front and back is four square feet. All right, underline that. All right, so I have my four sides. Oh, oh, I don't have my four sides. Sorry. Now I have my two sides. All right, so I have this side and this side, and they're identical. Okay, so I'm just going to call that the area of my two sides. That's SS. That's just for me to know. Area of side and side. So what's the length and what's the width? Well, the length is going to be 8 feet. All right, eight feet times the width, which again is a half a foot. Right? And I have two sides, so I'm going to multiply that by two. Okay, so half of eight is four, four times two. Eight. So I get eight square feet. I'll underline that. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and circle those because those are going to be important. I want to be able to pick those out later on. All right. So that is the the area of my tabletop and my four sides. All right. So I have one more thing to do. Now I need to find the area of my lateral surfaces of the legs. And again, my legs are cylinders. They look something like this, right? Circles on the ends. And then we have a lateral face. Okay, so if you remember, the area... Let's go ahead and do this. The area of a cylinder, so I'll just call that AC, C for cylinder, how about that? The area of a cylinder was, well, the area of a circle is pi r squared. But I have two circles, so that's two pi r squared. And this is all in the formula sheet uh, that I supply you with. But that's just the two circles. What about this lateral face? How do I find the area of that lateral face? Well, I want you to see something. I want you to visualize this. All right? So how can I find that area? Well, I want you to see something about a cylinder. All a cylinder is is a rolled up rectangle. Right, we've all done this, right? We make, we, we roll them up and we get something like that. All a cylinder is, is a rolled up rectangle. And we know that a rectangle, the area is length times width. So that means if we went this dimension times this dimension, we would get the area of this lateral face. All right, so what is that? Well, we roll it back up, this length is just the height of the cylinder. In this case, it would be 4. 
Okay, but what is the length here? Well, take a look. As I roll that up, it forms a circle, right? It forms that length right there. How do I find the length around a circle? We call that the circumference. So it's just this length times this length, all right? So if I do, so the, the formula for the circumference of a circle was 2 pi r. Okay, that's going to give you this dimension times the length, or in this case, the height. Okay, so that's just circumference times the height. This gives you the lateral face. This right here, this right here, these are the circles of my, of my uh, cylinder. Okay, but look at the question. The question is, we're going to varnish the lateral surfaces. We're not going to varnish the bottom of this. And we're not going to varnish the top of that cylinder because it's going to be glued on or nailed on to the bottom of my table. It doesn't need any varnish. So that means that I don't need that part of the formula. This is what I'm telling you. You've got to understand what these formulas are saying. You can't just look up at a formula sheet, boom, 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 write out the formula, plug in the numbers, and go. Now, you've got to think about these formulas. What do they mean? That's the circles. This is the lateral face. This is the only part of the cylinder that I'm painting, that I'm varnishing. All right. So, let's go ahead and put in our numbers. So, I'm going to get rid of that one. So, I got a 2 pi r. Okay, what's r? r is the radius of that circle which is halfway, it's from the midpoint to the edge, it's basically halfway through the circle. Well, the diameter is 0 0.5, so the radius is half of that. The radius is going to be 0 0.25. 0 0.25 feet. Okay, and my height, the height of my lateral face is 4 feet. Right? Okay. Pretty complicated stuff here. So again, didn't need my circles, just needed my lateral face. They're going to give you this whole thing, this whole formula on the formula sheet, right? you got to know how to use the formula, though. All right, so let's go ahead and play, uh, crunch these numbers. So we got, and then you can do it however, any order that you want. It doesn't matter because it's multiplication. And since I have a calculator, I'm just going to go for it. So 2 times pi times 0.25 times 4, which comes out to 1, is 6.28. By the way, 1 fourth of 4 is 1. And 1 times 2 pi is just 2 times 3.14, which is... 6.28, and that's square feet, feet times feet. All right, so that's the area of my, of my uh, cylinders. Now i got to figure, here's the million dollar question. What is the total area that I need to varnish? All right, we've done all this work. Now we can use our work to get the final answer. So now we just need to add up the total area. All right? So the area total all right, equals, see, I know why I circled them, 32 plus 4, that way I don't miss one, right? Plus 8 plus 
So I got the tabletop, the front and back, the two sides, and the lateral face of the cylinders. Which gives me a total area of, let's see, 32 and 4 is 36, plus 8 is 44, plus 6 is 50. So that'd be like 50.28, is that right? Mm -hmm. Is that right, Luke? Mm -hmm. That's my son, he's really good at math, so he can, he's checking to make sure I got all this right. So 50.28 what? Well, this is square feet. I'm just adding up the square feet. All right. There's my final answer right there. I'm going to have to varnish about 50 square feet. And this would come in handy if I'm going to Home Depot. And I look at the can and it says this can can varnish 40 square, 40 square feet. And it's not going to be a big enough can, right? I'm going to have to get a bigger can or get... Two of those. All right? So I'm just telling you, don't be fooled. You can use this stuff in real life. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. You'll be notified anytime I make new videos. Make sure you look in the description below. I have all the notes and the formula sheet for you for this lesson. And as always, may God richly bless you, my friends.